All right, Hurricane Headquarters here on uh, 10 Tampa Bay here as we get back into Brightside this morning. Let me take you out into the Atlantic now where we're, we're always watching something, right? Got to keep our eyes peeled to the tropics. Tropical wave moving through the central Caribbean. Just a couple of storms there. Another tropical wave in the far eastern Atlantic. And then there's this uh, little bit stronger tropical wave now titled Invest 93L that we've been tracking for the last couple of days. It is producing some scattered showers and storms, but you'll notice just watch this over the last probably half of the loop, you'll see how a lot of those storms just seem like they're dissipating and it's running into some drier air, but also some shear and that shear is literally just taking off the tops of the thunderstorms, preventing them from developing and really getting organized. And that shear is ultimately going to take care of Invest 93L. There is still a 30% chance that it develops in, into either a depression or a storm over the next couple of days. I think after Thursday, that chance runs out and it pretty much just is a, a continued tropical wave, but it's just not going to have any chance of developing. So that tropical wave will continue to move into the northeastern Caribbean. Likely doesn't develop, but obviously we're going to keep a close eye on it. We'll see. I mean, stranger things have happened, but something that we're watching. Remember, hurricane season runs through the month of November. So here we stand on October 13th and, you know, uh, yes, over time, the tropical activity decreases, but we still could see a storm and, and obviously we'll let you know if something's coming up on the horizon.